nothing lasts longer than that video someone showing you that you have no interest in. Think of it from the other side. You laugh hysterically at a video and are now showing your co-worker. It's not as funny the second time. They smile politely, but don't laugh. Do you shut it off halfway through or? I have a dear friend who is the queen of this. Constantly showing me multiple videos of shit I couldn't care about. Like her driving down the highway, walking up her path to her house. All the while saying wait, watch. Whenever I try to disengage. I love her, but damn. A story being told by a small child where they never get to the point because they keep distracting themselves mid-sentence. Incorrect the only thing that lasts longer is that video that you show to someone but you can tell they aren't interested but you can't stop showing it to them cause they are still pretending to be interested and shutting the video off would be calling them a liar, so you both have to just live through this one. Nothing lasts longer than those few seconds where you see someone's demeanor change from vaguely interested to not even remotely interested after you show them a video you really enjoyed and thought they would enjoy too. I guess maybe the rest of the video. And the worst part is they happen to have terrible service on their phone the moment they try to show you so you gotta wait for it to buffer. No 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 keep watching, keep watching. Wait until the end. Seven minutes later. How did you see that? He put on the hat. IDK. The extra minute of a plank or extra five minute jog is pretty long. I don't know. I've had meetings at work that have lasted longer than anything whilst only being 30 minutes long. You know you're in for a long ride when the person subjecting you to the video uses their other hand to support the hand holding the phone. And nothing more torturous than wanting to show a funny video and realize too late you have a very niche sense of humor, and it's a long time to the punchline at the end. When someone shows me a video, and I watch it with them for the first time, I never really like it only until I come back home and watch it again by myself, only then do I realize how great the video is. I don't know if you've ever been on fire before but I pretty sure TH-aid feel longer. That's why I never show co-workers and friends any random videos I find funny. I don't even show a SO unless it's something I find really hilarious. Even then I'd be thinking about it for 5 minutes. Waiting for the last minute to pass on a 12-8 shift so you can clock out and go home. I like to text the link so they can conveniently not watch it later. Have you ever had to plank exercise, longest 2 minutes of my life? Anyone that works in the service industry can attest to the fact that, once you clock in, it's a Twilight Zone episode if you're looking at that clock. The movie someone making you watch that you have no interest in. So this never happens to me. Anyone who's ever shown me a video they thought I should see it was always worth it. I have yet to be shown a video by someone and it be garbage. It's usually brightened my day, was good music I never heard or was extremely funny. I feel bad for the people getting shown shitty videos lol. Me is it a long video? Also me you already showed me a video of your baby. Nah, showing the video like to someone that is visibly not interested lasts much longer. My friends just don't watch any of the videos I share so I just ignore their recommendations in return. Nope YouTube videos when someone tells you omg you have to watch this it's so funny. When I had an MRI this year it was for 16 minutes of staying still. It felt like 16 hours. Right? Wrong. Unskippable 15 minute long AD one of two levels of wrong. The only video that I've ever shown people that is guaranteed that they'll enjoy is the Bass Rutten self-defense video. It's amazing how long a 15 second TikTok feels when my kids think it's hilarious and it's not lol. I usually at least try to act interested and laugh. It's such a terrible feeling on the other end. Two trucks by Lemon Demon lasts at least 15 minutes per minute. The key to time warp and travel lies within that formula I just know it. This is why I don't show anyone videos unless I know them. 
that way, if they think it sucks they can just tell me and we can both move on without any type of awkwardness. What about a photo album of 50 identical pictures of their baby doing nothing interesting in particular? Or a 30 second video that you thought was fucking hilarious? But then when you show your friend and they don't laugh, that 30 seconds feels like a goddamn hour. I mean this goes for everything that is boring. The longest moment of my life was driving school. IDK friend. What about that last minute standing around at the time clock waiting to punch out? Time damn near stand still there as you stare at, praying for that last two to become a three. Visiting old friends, one thought I would love a clip of Letter Kenny. I did not, and I was done with it after the first of like eight minutes. Agony, but bemused agony. I let him play the whole clip in case there was a punchline I couldn't see coming and I hadn't given the show a chance before. Not so much on the punchline. This comment is an opinion and not a judgment on fans of the show. I get it, it's just not for me. IDK if it's that or a plank, but imagine someone showing you a video of themselves planking. I have a friend who gets nostalgic for things I never experienced we grew up in different English-speaking countries, and sends me links to shit and talks to me like I should know it. To be nice, if watch them, to have a tiny bit of convo about it, but I stopped years ago, and it makes the same difference as watching it. Never again. It's been about 15 years and only recently did he send something that I knew about. Videos that are actually funny are the ones you find on your own. Whoever wrote this post, you have my sincere lest condolences as you clearly had a strong. I once sat through a co-worker's audition tape for American Ninja Warrior. Aged me five years. Yeah? Well just wait until they show you a second time and explain it to you. My mother-in-law showing me a group of buskers using broken wheelie bins as drums in a random town center somewhere 7 minutes 49 seconds. Mother-in-law showing me the kids from Stranger Things singing on stage when they were still really young and shrill 10 minutes 13 seconds. My wife showing me a TikTok video of an obnoxious woman faking that she has a sleepwalking disorder and laughing at her own wackiness 15 minutes 28 seconds. You're forgetting that moment of blackout anxiety in front of a group of people, that feels like 4 hours. One of my roommates does this daily and I stopped fake laughing long ago. Now I just flatly stare at him and say that was not funny. When you're a kid and mom started talking with a friend on the supermarket. By the time she's done you're retiring. When you get a brief glimpse of the duration bar and see it's not even halfway through. Or that rap song someone is playing in public transit. With horribly blown out speakers. Yep. Just saw one. Really don't care to watch a woman swallow a sandwich in 30 seconds and be told she has amazing talent. This happened to me when Rick Morty first came out. I showed it to my university housemates and it was silent throughout the entire episode. Do you know what's longer? My DIC. Had to make the joke before someone else did. The worst for me was early in COVID when you had people sending you their evidence for their weird ideas and it was always our long YouTube videos with fake doctors and you'd ask them to summarize and of course they couldn't, probably because they hadn't watched it or understood it but they just insisted. Um, no, not watching that but I might try to get it taken down. Make an effort to be interested anyways. You never know, you might learn something new, even if indirectly. No nothing lasts longer than a video your friend made you watch that traumatized you. No, wait she's not done, there's more kitties look, another one's poking out. Honestly I'm pretty blunt. If I'm not interested I'll say thanks for showing, but this ISNT catching my interest thanks anyway. My wife can attest to that as I consistently show her videos from Reddit. Wow I work with this guy. How do I stop him? He's got the heart and mind of a five-year-old. 